Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today in the in the miracle work. Um, we're in the mountains today, as you can see. That's really great. And um, so today we walk, we walk, and it's a way we walk in gratitude, and it's the way called love. And this is like, well, yeah, great lesson. Yes, I love to read that every day. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. And um, so you're allowed to do that. That's great. So you you walk on that way. <clears throat> you walk on the way of love. And um, today we, we um, say use this lesson to to just freshen up a little bit where you could be grateful about in case you forget and um, not only that so it's it's nice to to focus on the idea of gratitude or to feel it deeply inside of you but for the good reason so to speak not because your neighbor is um, less fortunate than you are or like, no, no, it has nothing to do with comparisons. So the training is always, um, say, in fact, coming from your center and not from anywhere else. You see, like, there's no comparison. So there's no analysis to be made. There's no competition in it either. It's like, I'm more grateful than you or whatever. No, we're not doing that. So it is it is great to feel the gratitude um, say yeah spring up in you like a fountain and uh, you cannot force that you cannot squeeze that out of yourself or you cannot make yourself grateful so it's it is really about receptivity and allowing that to come to you just because it is there it is the way of love. It is the way of you. And uh, that's why we practice this. Because we need practice with that still. We still need practice with that. And and that's a great delight to actually use this lesson. So we're, we're going to do that. So I um, prepared this a little bit. Um, so I took out some of the sentences that are in the text so and i'm going to share those with you so love is the way we walk in gratitude your gratitude is due to him alone who made all cause of sorrow disappear throughout the world so your gratitude is due to him alone him with a capital h to him alone who made all cause of sorrow disappear throughout the world <clears throat> so where do you give your gratitude for so to speak is is to him alone who made all cause of sorrow disappear like there is no reason for sorrow in this world he who made it disappear say deserves all the gratitude and you say like well yeah but i don't see that i don't see that because there's still a lot of sorrow going on and there's still this and this and this like well we're going to take a look at the way of love not the way as you see the world so in fact we cannot do that in any other way than to connect with our source, like our harmonious source, and tap into that. In fact, open up for to experience the love that we are. In that, we see that there's every reason to be grateful to him who literally makes the cause of sorrow disappear, literally the, the whole origin of the human uh, thought system disappears when you experience love all the world of fear disappears when you say allow that to occur because it literally has no reason to be there 
it is it has no cause at all the world of sorrow is a world without cause because what is truly there is love you just didn't see it right you didn't allow love to show this to you so like i said when you allow the source of love in you to to open up to open up the imprisoned splendor <laughs> as it is being said in biblical ways it's like the the imprisoned splendor can escape now because you literally are allowing yourself to dive into the love that you are so we we continue love for instance makes no comparisons it is not better off than others it is not in competition it is not analyzing at all it makes no comparison whatsoever no it recognizes itself in all things it recognizes the love that is in all things it recognizes that which is beyond all perception love makes no comparisons we offer thanks to God our Father that in us all things find their freedom we offer thanks to God our Father that in us all things will find their freedom <laughs> so this is this is a great message look at this we offer thanks to God our Father that in us all things will find their freedom see it is it is not just a little promise here no it has everything to do with you as the source of love all things will find their freedom if you stop comparing yourself with others if you stop being concerned with things if you stop desiring things if you stop thinking you need things no all these things find their freedom by you dislodging yourself from the way that you think about things okay stepping out of this for just a second so all things find their freedom in you so it's like you dislodge yourself from all the things that you have fixed the things you fix things in time you fix things in your say list of necessities or your list of um i need this i desire this i wish for this i want this i'm wadi 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 like no see if you allow the things to find their freedom they can be given to you but when you focus on them as as a need as a, you want this to have this to do this to <laughs> then it is not free to come to you you're in fact like even say putting it away for yourself you're you're yeah you're obsessed by it you're preoccupied by it so and and this is like that's why the freedom is like the freedom is in letting the things be as they are not having ideas about it not having an idea about how it should look or what you should eat or what you should wear like none of that is necessary so in uh, coming back then to the freedom of you is that is all going to be given to you if you allow it to come to you and allowing it to come to you is uh, not having ideas about it so that's why we do the, the the lessons you know like the first 50 lessons is really for the undoing of the way that you thought you really th think that it's necessary to value ideas you think it's necessary to keep some ideas for yourself you do all kinds of things with the ideas but in the end you discover that all these thoughts are meaningless like they have no meaning 
and you don't need them in order to exist or in order to come to your freedom you absolutely don't need to fix them in your thought system so what do i mean with that whatever you did in fixing ideas you all rooted it in time you said well, this was yesterday this i did two years ago this is very valuable to me i got this 200 years ago <clears throat> this is inherited this is that this is that so you continuously fix ideas in a time sequence that has no reality whatsoever so by setting that free you have to overcome something in yourself because there's a reason why you hold on to ideas there's a reason in your mind for it to hold on to your ideas uh, you do that for some kind of safety sense of safety and security <coughs> you i have to take a sip sorry so you you do this to keep something secure because you think that you are attacked you know and and here in fact in this lesson today everything comes together you're letting go of your fixed ideas about everything letting go of the idea that you can be attacked letting go of the idea that there's something outside of you that can can do something with you like no this is you recognizing your source and letting the love flow out of you and see that it will fulfill you completely like it's literally the way you walk in gratitude the love pouring out of you seeing that reflected in all your affairs seeing that reflected in all things and not say um, having your own ideas about this is what i need and that is what i don't need or you know taking all this leaving all that sorting out of those ideas brings you into a new freedom of mind where you discover everything is given to me in the right time in the right place and that all works out perfectly the only thing i need to do is like keep my mind open keep my mind open letting ideas go letting myself be <coughs> excuse me letting myself be receptive for what is given and staying in touch with that like how else would you know what god wants for you if you don't stay in touch so that's your only you could call discipline then to to stay in touch with your source to stay open to the communication and you don't want anything else for sure <laughs> with this we offer th thanks to god our father that in us all things will find their freedom see it happens through you that's very essential it happens through you therefore give thanks but in sincerity and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you uh, here we go it's like give thanks but in sincerity and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you well to mention some the sick the weak the needy the afraid and those who mourn a seeming loss or feel apparent pain who suffer cold or hunger or who walk the way of hatred and the path of death all these go with you ah see this is like the you could say the act of charity in you but for a whole different reason than you can possibly expect so i'll read this again therefore give thanks but in sincerity and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you so you don't push them away no you invite them in you let everything come to you you make no comparisons you make no analysis you don't make any sorting you don't do any sorting out because you cannot it is all you and that will be your liberation it's all you and there's nothing outside of you that is not you the sick the weak the needy and afraid 
and those who mourn a seeming loss or feel apparent pain or who suffer cold or hunger or who will walk the way of hatred and the path of death all these go with you yeah so it's like so this this is a teaching of inclusion not of becoming a holy uh, enlightened being on the top of the mountain now this is happening right in the middle of the marketplace and and everything is included if if this is working for you it works for every one and everything like there is no in the miracle principles there's no order of difficulty in miracles one is not harder than the other so this is really lovely all these go with you all these go with you we thank our father for one thing alone that we are separate from no living thing and therefore one with him we thank our father for one thing alone that we are separate from no living thing and therefore one with him we give thanks for every living thing for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing and we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us so we give thanks for every living thing for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing and we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us ah so we give thanks for every living thing hmm the gifts of God recognizing the gifts of God we're gonna come back to that then let our brothers lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while let then our let our brothers then lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while we offer thanks for them for if we can direct them to the peace that we would find, the way is opening at last to us. See, this is the mechanism. Let our brothers lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while. We offer thanks for them, for our brothers. For if we can direct them to the peace that we would find, the way is opening at last to us see it's like you cannot receive it without giving it away you are giving this away in order to receive it yourself you're not keeping it for yourself now you're giving it away in order to receive it yourself through your brother I love this. See, and it is working like that. You see it in action all the time. It is working like that. Let them rest their heads, tired heads, against your shoulders. If you can direct them to the peace that we would find, that you want to find, the way is opening at last to us. I, I literally give the miracle that I receive. You give the miracle that you receive. Oh, that's so beautiful. I have to... It was not my purpose to... Yeah, so I'm... Walk then. Here it says, walk then in the way of love. Walk in gratitude, the way of love for hatred is forgotten when we lay comparisons aside what more remains as obstacle to peace walk then in gratitude the way of love for hatred is forgotten when we lay comparisons aside what more remains as obstacle to peace
Today we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice and revenge. We have been given everything. Today we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice and revenge. We have been given everything. So you have no need for revenge. You have no need for malice or anger because you have been given everything. Our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than you could ever dream of. Our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than you could ever dream of. Gratitude goes hand in hand with love and where one is, the other must be found. For gratitude is an aspect of the love which is the source of all creation. God gives thanks to you, his son, for being what you are. God gives thanks to you, his son, for being what you are. For being what you are his own completion and the source of love along with him. So this is your idea about yourself now. You are God's own completion and the source of love, of love along with him. Your gratitude to him is one with his to you. For love can walk no road except the way of gratitude. And thus we go walk the way to God. See, it's all about the way, you could say. Our gratitude will pave the way. And we go hand in hand, you know, on our way. And your gratitude to him is one with his to you for love can walk no road except the way of gratitude so it's not a literal way so but it's given to you as a figurative way you know it's it's your way thus we go and walk the way to god it's your path beautiful i come as a light into a world that does deny itself everything. It does this simply by dissociating itself from everything. It is therefore an illusion of isolation, maintained by fear of the same loneliness that is its illusion. I said that I am with you always, even to the end of time, yeah, even to the end of the world. That is why I am the light of the world. If I am with you in the loneliness of the world, the loneliness is gone. You cannot maintain the illusion of loneliness if you are not alone. My purpose then is still to overcome the world. I am come as a light into a world that does deny itself everything. See, and it does that by dissociating itself from everything, thinking that it's not you, thinking that there's an exception to the love of God, thinking that it might not work today, not in this situation. It's like, okay, it works in almost every situation, but not in this situation. It's a pity. So and you're going to prove that to yourself. But anyway, so I am come as a light into this world that does deny itself everything by dissociating itself from everything. Like, so there's a real uh, say key in, in this sentence because it's more like you, you discover that if you don't dissociate yourself from everything, that something else can happen. That means if you include yourself in, not thinking that you're better off than others, not thinking that you, it's like leaving all comparisons aside, you actually start to see that. 
you you fall into that you literally start to see the, uh, the connectedness of everything every aspect you know every as aspect of creation see how else will you experience that there's no other way to do that so i i love that that it's being shared like this but there's more in this this is um chapter eight the journey back the gift of freedom so freedom is the only gift you can offer to god's son being an acknowledgement of what they are and what he is freedom is creation because it is love see this is the same as the as the dis stopping to dissociate yourself from everything like by your sense of inclusion by your way of inclusion you offer freedom you you don't compare you don't uh, say push away you don't defend this is an essential one you don't defend now you include so in that you give freedom to everything to be itself and not say like no there's no way that you can do that like no 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 wait you're missing it here's here's a possibility to offer freedom to offer love or to recognize the love that's behind it and that that there's no ex yeah there's no um, exception to that so it's like in everything that comes to you in every response of whoever comes to you it is always like love or a cry for love like an asking for love in that it's really easy to to not having to distinguish at all so whether whether it is that your response is a loving response uh, in what seems to be lacking in the situation you give that it's like or you receive that if it is a loving um say loving extension coming to you you receive it in that you become glad together if it is if it is a cry for love you give love to it and receive it together say the result is the same you know what i'm saying like this is really what the miracle uh, capacity of your mind is you can do this it's like it's practical you can do this this is miracle work that we're doing like cry for love or love itself so love itself you recognize that and you love it uh, cry for love you give to it you love it <laughs> see it makes it really simple it is not difficult so the layers of complexity that might be exposed like what i mean to say is like the <clears throat> the thing that the ego mind does is make it complex and say oh that's no, too difficult i don't know how to respond to this or i don't know what or what or what and like no no you know what to do for a cry for love you extend your love to it you're not withholding it you're not fighting it you're not becoming angry at it you don't do any of these things no you act from love and you extend yourself as that recognizing that that source is in you giving the freedom for whoever is with you to be him or herself you know to be yourself in that you receive the freedom of it like that's the great thing you need your brother for that that's why it's that's why it is a miracle you remembering this that you can do that is um say recognizing your source and and you're like recognizing that the source of love is in you extending it to your brother and receiving that together with him in the recognition of that and when it's when it's real when it's authentic makes you both happy and and there's the gratitude like this is the way you walk in gratitude uh, and you know how to do this and you can practice this you don't have to be perfect at it and it is just about your willingness to do this see all the other things that you were so used to comparison competition um, analysis defense attack um, all these things you can leave behind so that saves you so much energy 
that you easily can focus on extending yourself as the love that you are and giving to the situation instead of taking something from it and dissociating yourself from it what never felt good in the first place like you have never felt good dissociating yourself from anything huh? so that's just something you have to admit to yourself so well, there's a different way the fact that you didn't feel right by dissociating was say a red flag or there was a sure signal that you were trusting your own powers and and you don't have any own powers that's why it felt so empty and so cold and so yeah limited so it's literally you you lock your own prison is what's happening in those moments when you respond differently coming from the source of love in you 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 literally say free yourself from the prison you have made not feeling bereft of anything and not missing anything and setting your brother free at the same time so that's that's a total win-win situation see all things okay so here, here's one more thing healing reflects our joint will so the healing is then the recognition of our freedom together healing reflects our joint will this is obvious when you consider what healing is for healing is the way here it is the healing is the way in which the separation is overcome separation is overcome by union not any other way there's not some kind of <laughs> there's not some kind of magic formula to make you feel good while your brother's still in in shit so to speak it's like that that is not the way so there is no magic formula where you just receive for yourself what is necessary for you while your brother's dying out in the streets you know like this is a nice comparison like no 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 it doesn't work like that inclusion is inclusion not seeing the pain of your brother as separate from yours but including it in as as a whole part of yourself and allowing the healing to occur healing means union union is a different feeling than separation healing is not dissociation it is union it is joining it is a joint decision to to want the alternative so that's what we read in the next part too your mind is the means by which you determine your own condition because the mind is the mechanism of decision it is the power by which you separate or join and experience pain or joy accordingly mm. Your mind is the means by which you determine your own condition. So you like the way you feel or you don't like the way you feel? You don't like the way you feel? Well, you know the place now where the change can occur. Your mind is the means by which you determine your own condition because the mind is the mechanism of decision. It's literally pulling the switch continuously love fear love fear love fear love fear in every situation i'm closing fear i'm opening love closing like contracting fear opening love oh yeah it is the power by which you separate or join and experience pain separate pain or joy with union my decision cannot overcome yours because yours is as powerful as mine if it were not so the sons of god would be unequal so all things here's the here's the summary all things are possible through our joint decision but mine alone cannot help you so it really depends on you in this sense all things are possible through our joint will but mine alone cannot help you your will is as free as mine and god himself would not go against it so there's an essential insight here my decision cannot overcome yours because our ours are 
it's like our will is equal in force so equal in power all things are possible through our joint decision but mine alone cannot help you i love this freedom is the only gift you can offer to god's son being an acknowledgement of what they are and what he is freedom is creation because it is love so these are the gifts of freedom um it's a great chapter so chapter eight the journey back in the blue book at least i love it it's beautiful okay so order of difficulty and miracles do we still have a little bit of time yes so there is um there's this the principle of miracles i i pulled this in because of the the idea of um that you can have that you cannot do certain things it's like well that's i don't know how to respond to that or i don't know how to do that and then it's like well you don't have to do it yourself you don't have to come up with solutions yourself now they will be given so but uh, to know that there's no order of difficulty in miracles makes it possible for you to uh, to see beyond the appearance because the appearance will tell you that this is much more important and more difficult and more complex than something else you know like this so it can tell you that but by you knowing that there's no order of difficulty in miracles it would work in all situations because they're all equal and why are they all equal well if you if you look at it in a in a time relationship you could say it they are all over they are all gone already you just live with this idea that it's still there so there is no order of difficulty like they're all over they're all gone so but you got stuck in in some of it you you get stuck in situations where you s distantiate or say separate yourself off of things of people of your brother and then you think like well i have no idea how to deal with this in my relationship i have no idea how to deal with the ones that are in the street or the ones that i meet during the day i have no idea how to respond to that and that and that's all right you know as as a matter of um, keeping an open mind absolutely but now you have like the possibility of the the miracle application in which you allow yourself to use this principle that there's no other of difficulty in it so it it might seem harder to connect with some in some situations but in fact they're all equal it really does not matter so that means that uh, it doesn't have to stop you from from healing the situations that you're in from healing the uh, events that are occurring healing in the sense of recognizing the union in it and not separating yourself off from it by by pushing it away or thinking i don't need to deal with that i i let this go so this this is an essential uh, part in the awakening because you you carry this with you it's like it's literally uh, you're a miracle worker and see the beauty of that is and we read that in the lesson too love is the way i walk in gratitude like it's a statement of your freedom when i um, recognize this uh, in and with my brother it sets me free like i said like i open the door of the prison that i put myself in if i distantiate myself from my brother i put literally lock myself up in my prison and it does not feel good i feel locked up and there's no way uh, that i can feel well in that even though it might have a comp uh, and say temporal um, sense of safety of apparent safety because it's it's not real so these are the say the practicality um, of the miracle work that is behind this lesson 
I love it. I love it that you can decide to do that. Like you could say like, well, now I'm going to pray to Jesus if he's going to help me to do this. Like, well, absolutely. He's there for you. But he, like he needs your will in this. He needs you to want this, to want to change because he cannot do that himself. Like he joins with you in that, in that idea. And in that, like there you can see the miracle at work together with your brother. Um, so I think we, we covered that. I think that's great. Um, so love is the way I walk in gratitude is not something like, okay, so, you know, throw the flowers. I'm walking here through the street and receiving all the gifts and flowers from everyone like this. I'm doing so great here. Yeah, look at me. I'm walking the way of gratitude. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. This, this is not how that works. Of course, this was a fantasy. Um, so it's like, this is not the way it works. It's actually work, uh, work in the sense of miracle work. So you include everyone in. So your uh, response to situations that you find yourself in, that you're very used to maybe from before, you start to act from non-defensive, um, love responsive way, recognizing it as love or as a cry for love, one or the other. And, and going your way that way, like you are free when you set your brother free. If your brother is still in, in uh, bound, you are bound. There's no, uh, there's nothing outside of you. All things are part of you and not anything else. And you, you, you experience that when you set your brother free by recognizing the peace that's in you, you share it with him and you join together with him in that. That is the way I walk in gratitude. That's the way of love, all inclusiveness, no comparison, just, just that in all its simplicity. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to share this with you because this is one of the acts, you know, it's like the act to give this away and you allow me to do that. So thank you for that. I totally am happy with that. Thank you so much.